Untimely expression of gametogenic genes in vegetative cells causes uniparental disomy. Most of the cells in our bodies, called somatic cells, contain two sets of chromosomes, one maternal set inherited from mom and one paternal set inherited from dad. Errors in chromosome inheritance can lead to abnormalities. For example, uniparental disomy, or UPD, occurs when a cell receives both copies of a particular chromosome from the same parent, instead of inheriting one copy of the paired chromosome from mom and one from dad as they should. Initially proposed by Eric Engel in 1980, UPD is a frequent chromosomal anomaly with an incidence of 1 in 3,500 people and has been linked to cancer and numerous congenital diseases. Despite its clinical importance, the molecular factors that trigger UPD have remained unknown. Because cells that are affected by UPD contain the same number of chromosomes as normal cells, the phenomenon is not easy to study and detect in humans. However, by engineering genetic assays in the fission use S. Pombe, we were able to detect UPD, which led to the discovery of the first causative factors ever identified for UPD. The fission yeast genome only has three chromosomes, yet it shares many features of chromosomal structure and gene regulation with human cells, making it a powerful genetic model. One advantage of this model is that we could employ genetic markers that produce a color readout for UPD detection. As shown in this picture, UPD has occurred in the red and pink yeast colonies, but not in the white ones. Many years ago, we had discovered that a gene-regulating system called RNA interference, or RNAi, controls the DNA packaging inside cells, in particular at centromeric regions of chromosomes. We also noted that defects in the RNAi system can cause cells to make mistakes in segregating chromosomes during cell division. By using our genetic assays for detection of UPD, we established that UPD occurs at high frequency in RNAi deficient cells. We initially suspected that such chromosome segregation problems had something to do with faulty DNA packaging and centromeres in RNAi defective cells. But later we discovered that it is actually the failure to keep unneeded genes safely off that is the key factor. Interestingly, we had previously discovered that RNAi prevents the expression of genes involved in gametogenesis, the specialized process that gives rise to eggs and sperm. Gametogenesis should only occur in reproductive cells, so these genes are kept tightly silenced in the somatic cells by RNAi machinery and a conserved protein MMI1 that is critical for preventing untimely expression of gametogenic genes. Remarkably, DNA packaging at centromeres is normal in cells lacking MMI1, but those cells still develop UPD, indicating that the abnormal expression of gametogenic genes rather than defects in DNA packaging triggers the chromosomal anomaly. Among the many genes that are upregulated in RNAi or MMI1 mutants, we wondered if any gene in particular could be a driver of UPD. We analyzed 27 abnormally expressed gametogenic genes and found that only two of them were linked to UPD, the meiotic cohesin REC8 and the meiotic cyclin CRS1. We confirmed that when REC8 was abnormally expressed in somatic cells, UPD occurred at high frequency. In those cells, REC8 protein that is normally expressed only in cells undergoing gametogenesis starts localizing to chromosomes and somatic cells. The untimely expression of REC8 and its localization to chromosomes and somatic cells leads to abnormal segregation of chromosomes responsible for UPD. Our results highlight the importance of silencing gametogenic genes in somatic cells. When this process malfunctions, chromosomes can be incorrectly divided between cells, causing UPD and leading to diseases such as cancer. Now our plan is to search for small molecules that can interrupt UPD in fission yeast, such as drugs that disrupt gametogenic gene expression, which can eventually be tested in human cells as a potential therapy or treatment option. Storyboard and script by Drs. Shiv Gural, Diego Falco, and Jemima Barrowman. Illustration, voice, and editing by Jennifer Wang. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, cancer.gov, 1-800-4-CANCER. 
produced September 2018.